Yeah, I love Long Beach just as much as the next person. I am born and raised here. I love here. I love all the stuff that Long Beach has to offer. But there are a few things I would change too. My name is Steve Arthur. I am a local realtor here in the Long Beach and the surrounding cities. So if this is your first time seeing me here on the YouTube channel, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, ring that bell for future notifications because I do put out really cool videos every single week all about Long Beach, the surrounding cities where you want to live, eat, play, and sleep. And that's all the stuff that you want to know. So today we're talking about the pros and cons of Long Beach and today I'm in Signal Hill right in the middle of Long Beach. It's got some beautiful, beautiful views up here. Let's go check out a couple. Here's number one, the weather. Here it is towards the end of February. You're shoveling snow back east. You got storms coming in. It's 80 degrees here. People are laying on the beach. You don't have to dig your car out every day of the snow. You don't have to scrape your windshield. And I've done that once in my life. And that was when I was in Idaho. The downside though, yeah, we only get about 12 and a half inches of gear per rain. So California, you do have to watch how much water you use. After all, in our planet, we have one shot of water, and that's all we have, and it's gone. So everybody's got to do this anyways across the nation. But here in Long Beach, we do watch our water a little bit better. I hope they do offer a $2,000 rebate if you plant the California native plants, the drought-resistant plants. They were giving you a $2,000 rebate. I don't know if that's still in effect anymore or not, but so that is a draw to it is the lack of rain. Some people think that is a plus though. I don't know. There are so many different avenues of activities here in Long Beach that you should never say to yourself, I'm bored. All the water sports that you can imagine. You've got, you can go surfing, you can go water skiing, jet skiing, scuba diving, fishing, boating, whatever you want to do and more. Long Beach has to offer every water sport there is. Now, if you'd rather go watch some sports, Long Beach has Blair Field, which hosts the Cal State Long Beach Dirt Bags. Now there you're gonna see some fantastic baseball of future up and coming major leaguers, such as Troy Chulowitzki, Jared Weaver. Uh, they all play, they, they both played there at Cal State Long Beach and many, many more. These are just fun fun games to go and watch. Now, if you like to go watch professional sports, we've got all of that too. We've got the Dodgers and the Angels right down the street. We've got basketball. We have the Lakers and the Clippers. We have soccer, the Galaxy. We have one more thing. Oh yeah, the Rams and the Chargers are building this brand spanking new arena just a half hour up the road. Perfect. It's going to be state of the art, the NFL headquarters right here in Los Angeles, right down the road. And not to mention, we do have some of the best golf courses too. I love getting out there on the links. So you want to get out of Long Beach for a weekend trip, go see some of the sites around. I totally get that. I love getting away for the weekend myself. Well, if you're a Mountain resort skiing kind of person, just two hours away to the north, we have Big Bear Mountain, where it has some of the best skiing in Southern California. Sean White, the flying tomato, yeah, he owns a lot of Big Bear Mountain and he's done a great job up there. Just making sure it is fun. The ski, the ski resorts, the ski lifts and everything are in great condition. The mountain resort life is not for you and you want more of the desert scene? Well, down the hills about two hours east of here, that would be Palm Springs, where you're going to get some of the world's most elite shopping, eating, incredible atmosphere. 
It is known for its best hiking, its shopping, its restaurants, and just relaxation year round. Everybody from Chicago, they're called winter birds out there because they all live out there during the winter and they live in Chicago during the summer. Maybe, but you can stop off in San Diego and be a San Diegoan. I think that's how they, let me check. If there's 300 very angry San Diego rights, San Diego ins. San Diego ones. Sa San Diego ones. San Diego. Yeah, they got it. But San Diego is so fun with SeaWorld, San Diego Zoo, Old World. There is a lot to do down there and it is just a blast. But one thing that you can say is you can never be bored here in Long Beach. There's always something to do. The downside of that is you got to get there. And I'm just going to flat out say it. Our traffic sucks. Okay, but once you live here and you start to know the arteries, you start to know everything, you get the time frames, you can maneuver around the towns, you know which ones you don't need to be on the highways for, and you, you'll be okay. You, everybody learns the little shortcuts and everything. You'll be all right. Well, as you can see today, number three, the pretty views. It really is a photographer's paradise. You've got sunsets like crazy. Where I was earlier at Sun, um, Signal Hill, that sunset comes in from the west over there. It is beautiful over Powell's Verdes. You get some tremendous shots there. Or you go down to the beach, get some fantastic shots. Uh, all those places I had mentioned earlier, Big Bear, San Diego, Palm Springs, fantastic, very photogenic, mountain-esque, mountain uh, picturesque, everything. It's just, there's a lot, a lot of photography, a lot of beauty, but you can find a lot of, a lot of beauty too inside of the concrete jungle, down down Long Beach. You can find a lot of beauty in there. There is a lot of historical, architectural things here in Long Beach. Well, it is a melting pot of people. There is so many different cultures and demographics of people here. It is just a huge melting pot. But with that too, they also bring their culture dishes. So there is so much food in different cultures, different experiences here in Long Beach that you can experience this for all food philosophies are just on the table and ready to go. The downside, sometimes cultures do clash and you do have some little wars but stay clear of those everything's good well like i was talking about food well now we have upcoming breweries everywhere and with that comes some awesome food and they know that they're in competition with the next brewery coming up so they try to up their game and everybody's up in their game so if you want a really really great experience go to any brewery they're gonna have great food they're gonna treat you tremendously because they want you back and they know there's breweries right around every corner that you can go to so they will treat you extremely well it's just the food is great too because they got to keep it family friendly so they make a lot of activities for the kids also it's not just going there and get drunk and have a good old time. It's for the family. It's good activities. It's good stuff for all. Now, on the downside to that is when you have all these up and coming breweries and restaurants and everything else, it is driving up the home prices in those areas, making it more of a walkable city, a walkable neighborhood. So, therefore, it is driving up those prices a little bit more. Well, there you have some of the pros and cons of Long Beach. And trust me, there's going to be a few more of these coming up. But like I said, my name is Steve Arthur. I am a local realtor here in the Long Beach and surrounding cities. So if you or anybody you may know need of any real estate needs, just get a hold of me. I absolutely love it when people get hold of me through this channel. It is just awesome. Canada has been rocking it lately with me. I don't know why, but thank you, Canada. Anyways, you guys take care, and until next time.